healthcare can be very confusing for consumers. In fact, even with health insurance, the bills can be complicated as well as costly. With terms like deductibles, coinsurance, and copayments, there's a lot we have to know. And now with the Affordable Care Act, we still are constantly learning new information. So let's take a look. First, let's start with the deductible. The deductible represents the amount of money you'll have to pay before you receive the benefits from your insurance. Let's consider your car insurance as an example. If you were to get into an accident, your deductible would be the amount of money you have to pay before your insurance pays anything for it. Your health insurance is going to work the same way. It represents the amount of money you'll have to pay before any coinsurance is being paid by the insurance company. There are two major types of health care plans we want to think about, HMOs and PPOs. With an HMO, you're going to have a primary care physician whose job it is is to be your gatekeeper physician. They'll need to provide you with any referrals you want to have for specialists that you want to see. With a PPO, on the other hand, you'll actually be choosing within a provider network. They'll all be having a specially arranged price that you'll be working with. If you do choose to see someone outside of network, though, you're going to pay much higher fees as a result of that. You know, if your primary care physician sends you to a specialist, say a dermatologist, then you're going to want to make sure that you're in your network. If they're out of your network, then you'll pay higher fees for labs, for the visit itself, or potentially for any follow-ups. So make sure you check into that. Good afternoon. This type of fee is called coinsurance. This is the amount that you're going to be responsible for. It represents a percentage of the fee that you have, and you're going to have to pay that. For instance, if you had a $100 fee for it and you have a 20% coinsurance, then you're going to be responsible for $20 of that while the insurance company will pick up $80. This of course assumes no deductible. This would actually be the fees above and beyond the deductible should you have one. What if I'm with an HMO? Well, if you're with an HMO and you're seeing someone within your network, then you're going to be responsible for the co-payments associated with it. If you're with a PPO, then you'll have a co-insurance amount above and beyond your deductible. However, if you're seeing someone outside of your network, then those fees are going to add up to be quite a bit more money. Now let's take a look at that arm. Mmm, I don't like the looks of that. I think we're going to have to biopsy it. But don't worry, that won't hurt me a bit. Are you sure you're a real dermatologist? No, but I play one on TV. Well, that was fun. But all kidding aside, healthcare expenses are one of the things your family's going to want to be budgeting for. In fact, planning for regular expenses such as office visits and prescription drug coverages is going to be an important part of this process. In fact, your employer may be able to help with this with a flexible spending plan or medical savings accounts. These accounts allow you to have health care expenses withheld on a pre-tax basis. This will save you on both your taxes and your health care bills. For more information on the Affordable Care Act or understanding your health care insurance, check out Solutions for Your Life or with your local county extension office. Thank you.